Next on Good Taste, this food farmhouse is bursting with creativity from the table to the ceiling. If you look straight up, it, it, they're tree stumps, right? They are. They're cedar trees. Then see where the stars go for tacos and enchiladas dripping with cheese. Can't come here and not have cheese. Well, and why would you want to? Plus, an over-the-top tapas explosion where nothing is quite as it seems. It's not what you think it is. Oh, wow. Good Taste starts right now. Hi everybody, welcome to Good Taste. I'm Tangie Patton, hanging out in Little Round Top, Texas. This place is home to the biggest antique show in the entire country. Nearly 26 miles of treasures to discover, including one gem of a restaurant where garden goodness comes served on a plate. Deep in the heart of Texas ranch country, there are some serious treasures to be found in tiny round top. People come from all over, literally, to be here. Here, every spring and fall, the population soars from just 90 to nearly 90,000 when one of the largest antique shows in the nation comes to town. It's just miles and miles of, of anything from new stuff all the way to vintage stuff. This is where Stevie Thompson has unleashed her creativity, both on the plate and everywhere you look. I love to create. That's my, my big passion in life. This whole beautiful decor, this is you. I love interior design. While landscape is my passion, I also love interior design and I love old houses. The garden company Feed and Firewater is built in a century-old farmhouse nestled beneath a lush 500-year-old oak tree. It's cozy, oozing with charm, and the food, absolutely delicious. We're foodies. Jeff and I love really good food. And we were really wanting to bring kind of home style, but fresh. We want it to taste kind of farm to table, just something good. This is the second restaurant from this uber talented husband and wife team. Did you enjoy lunch today? The Thompsons started out in the landscape business. Then Stevie thought it might be kind of fun to sell sandwiches out of their garden shop in Schulenburg. And it was your idea to do a restaurant yes. at the beginning. Yeah, and Jeff wanted to kill me. I was supposed to divorce. <laughs> it's hard. With our nurseries, we thought it would be nice to add something for year round. By the time it opened, the garden company had evolved into a full blown bistro. Both restaurants dish up sensational salads, juicy Angus burgers, and gourmet entrees like fresh seafood and this luscious rack of lamb. There's nothing on the menu that's not fabulous. Jeff manages the Schulenberg Cafe, while Round Top is Stevie's baby. Whenever there's a, a, not a meeting of the minds on something, who gets the final word? <laughs> I don't get a vote. He does get a vote. He doesn't think he gets a vote, but you do get a vote. To create this homey haven, the Thompsons actually moved the historic farmhouse to this luscious spot. It was an old vintage house built in around 1904 and they put their kind of custom stamp on the inside. We love nature so you'll see there's trees, branches, stones everywhere. That's kind of my inspiration. Stevie wrapped nearly petrified tree branches with grapevines to create this dramatic chandelier. And if you look straight up it, it, they're tree stumps, right? They are. They're cedar trees. That same creativity carries over to every dish that comes out of the kitchen. And if you're a steak fan, you got them covered with that too, USDA right? USDA prime steaks, we wet age them a couple of weeks and then uh, cut to order and uh, they're delicious. Talk about tender. This meaty monster melts in your mouth. It's a great little pork shank. We marinate it in-house. We cook it overnight. Good. Ooh, that's fantastic. Very good. Good. Falls off the bone, doesn't it? I get their tasty chicken salad sandwich almost every time I come. The Brussels sprouts are the go-to for appetizer. Those sweet and spicy Brussels sprouts are super popular. So are other shareables, like the bacon-wrapped chicken bites, plated with tangy jalapeno ranch dressing. Ooh, now that's fun. 
They go good with beer. Great with beer, wine, or Garden Company's garden-inspired cocktails. And by all means, do the lavender lemonade. Good. Isn't it yummy? Mm-hmm. A lot of people order it without the alcohol, but either way, why? life's too short. Oh, why? <laughs> These cute and crispy Korean street tacos were Stevie's idea. It is a Korean street taco which consisted of our nice wontons. Yeah. Which you guys make here in the back, right? Yes, ma'am. The filling is made with sauteed chicken thighs. Just seasoned with the uh, gongjo, which is a red pepper paste from South Korea. And then I season it with the um, ponzu sauce. Top that with crunchy kimchi, carrots, and cucumber. It's all garnished with a Thai chili sauce and togarashi spice. Cheers. Cheers. I like, you like? I love them. <laughs> I do too. With so much to see and taste, you'll love everything at the Garden Company too. It's an amazing, amazing spot. You just feel good. Great food. Perfect. If you come to my house during the holidays, we're going to have eggnog. And we're in Goya's house today with the executive chef, Fernando Desa, making an unbelievably delicious eggnog, right? That's what it's called, Coquito. That's uh, one of the drinks that we usually drink in Christmas in Puerto Rico, where I come from. And it's so good, so delicious. So to start, very easy. We get some Goya evaporated milk, two cans. One can of cream of coconut. You know cream of coconut? Oh, yeah. Number one ingredient for piña colada. Yeah, now it's getting even okay. better. Okay, so this is uh, Goya coconut milk. And I have to give a shout out for this. If you're it's into amazing. cooking with coconut milk, this is fantastic. This is the best. Then we're oh. gonna add a half a can of condensed milk. A little bit of cinnamon, and it's vanilla. A little bit of rum. A little bit of rum. We're just gonna put the blender. I'm gonna blend it up. We're gonna add some Goya dulce de leche. All right, so now the best part, right? Try the original one. This is the original. I go with the selection. Hello. Salad. Mm. That is so good. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> super good, super delicious. Perfect for the holidays. It's neat. I love it. And we've got the recipe as always online. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. I love this. So delicious. Coming up, mind-blowing tapas from the Picasso of the plate. The cuisine is fantastic, it's absolutely amazing. But next, tempting street tacos sliced right off the spit. <laughs> Delicioso. See, we're making a zesty salsa right after the break. For more information on San Antonio dining, head to visitsanantonio.com. Cisco, at the heart of food and service. Welcome back everyone. Locals will tell you when you come to Austin, you got to come here to Weddell's Taco Bar on South Congress. And what we discovered, a lot of celebrities agree. We're going wild for Weddell's Taco Bar. So are the A-listers. Sandra Bullock, George Bush, Quentin Tarantino, Bill and Hillary Clinton, Luke and Owen Wilson. We have a lot of fun uh, celebrities come through the door. The stars have been hitting up this iconic hot spot in the capital city for more than three decades. Locals love it too. It's just so fun. Everyone is always so polite here and it's, you really feel like family when you're here. Handmade tamales and tempting tacos, cheesy enchiladas, and more than 20 mouth-watering margaritas. Weros is the real deal. A friend of mine who lives here said, when you come to Austin, this is just where you come. You know, we're very lucky with our location where people just kind of get to come in and experience, a, you know, an iconic part of Austin. Weros is parked in Austin's hip South Congress district. This colorful cantina is built in a century old feed store. It feels really authentic. Everything has changed around here. It's kind of kept its character. It still has the original floors with the real trap door to boot. You used to take this off and there's a weight down here that would weigh your cattle. <laughs> right so, here. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? Yes, yes. When there's live music in the stunning oak garden, this place is jumping. But I really love to come here for the fun. There's not a lot of places to go and just like walk around and drink margaritas in a garden and listen to music. There's also a hero's corner. We like to kind of 
put pictures here that represent um, people that have sacrificed for us or people that we love and admire. Güero means white man in Spanish. And well, it seemed like the perfect name for owner Rob Lippincott. He and a buddy dreamt up the idea during trips to Mexico. Late at night, after having a few drinks, we'd go to taco bars. We would inevitably say, huh, we could do this. So the rest is history. Rob and his wife, Kathy, raised their girls at Güero's. I came here after school almost every day, and I'd sit at the bar and do my homework and drink Shirley Temples. <laughs> um, or I'd hang out with the tortilla ladies and make tortillas. Ah. and. That was probably more fun than doing your homework, yes, right? Yes. Lyle and her sister Bet now run the show. We've been kind of learning the ropes for my parents. Get all that knowledge, right? Um, before they're ready to retire. Yeah. Which might not ever happen. At this no, point, it may not. <laughs> this, this is their baby too, yes, right? Yes. No, we always call it the third child okay. that never grows up. I love the ambiance and just everybody who is in here is so friendly and warm and nice, and the food is epic. The Pollo de Hueros is a grilled chicken breast smothered in pico de gallo, guacamole, and melted cheese. The food is always fantastic, fresh, and great. The Santa Fe style enchiladas are topped with a fried egg. You have to look for it under all that cheese. Can't come here and not have cheese. Well, and why would you want to? They have daily specials too, like la huera, a taco packed with chicken, marinated in achiote and orange juice topped with pickled red cabbage, queso fresca, and green salsa. I love ordering the specials because it's different every day. Huero's even has vegan and gluten-free menus. Actress Natalie Portman is said to rave about the vegan taquitos al pastor, made with soy chorizo. She always orders that when she comes in. They've got a meat lover's version too, with marinated pork sliced off a spit, cilantro, onions, and pineapple. <laughs> Delicioso. Sí. Patty has been fixing up flavorful feast at Huero's for 30 years. So what do you still love after 30 some odd years of working here? <laughs> well, I love everything. And, well, the food, I love the food. Patty's Salsa Rioja is a flavor explosion. It starts with a whole lot of tomatoes. You make a lot of salsa at one time. Toss in some roasted jalapenos and garlic. Every good dish has garlic, right? Yes, I love the garlic. Add some chopped onion and blend it all up. <laughs> Salud. Salud. It's the kind of salsa, you start eating it and you start feeling guilty because you can't yeah. stop. When you're looking for a little <laughs> slice of Mexico, Huero's is where it's at. Coming up, special wines to spruce up your holiday table in my wine finds. But first. You put the olives in your mouth and they burst and it's just uh, a sensational feeling. We're taking your taste buds for one wild ride. Good taste will be right back. We'd love to share good taste. Head to our website at goodtaste.tv where you'll find delicious recipes from top chefs, my latest wine finds and restaurant recommendations. Plus, you can see all of our episodes right here. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter while you're there. Good Taste with Tangi is brought to you in part by HEB. We're going mad for mad, where nothing is quite as it seems. It's not what you think it is. This provocative new Spanish restaurant in Houston will ignite your senses. Beautiful from the stunning, wildly creative food to the eye-popping art. We're talking original Picasso plates and Giuli glass chandeliers. The atmosphere, the food, the drinks, you name it, you can't go wrong. Mad dreams up authentic Spanish tapas with a surprising twist and maybe the best darn gin and tonics in Texas. They're brilliant, they're creative, they're tasty. The mad men behind this edgy eatery, two Spaniards, Chef Luis Roger and Ignacio Torres, who finally convinced the chef to move from Barcelona to Houston. Over the years, I was getting excited, and it took me a while to convince my wife to, hey, let's try. There is nothing to lose. After seven years of emails, Luis finally called back. And I asked him, are you still thinking about that idea? 
and he told me, Luis, now more than ever. They opened their first Houston restaurant, BCN, in 2014, a cozy, fine dining venue. Five years later, they opened MAD. Why did you want to do a restaurant in Houston? Houstonians, if you provide them a good quality experience, if you treat them with respect, what you provide them is a great experience, both in the cuisine and the ambiance and the service, they love it. Nearly every ingredient, from the olive oil to the crusty bread to the sensational seafood, is brought in from Spain. We had to, in order to express the Spanish uh, gastronomy, are very important ingredients. Otherwise, we cannot provide the real experience to the people. Post up at the Paella Bar for one of Matt's amazing wood-fired rices. Roasting over mesquite, pecan, and grapevines gives the rice a rich, smoky flavor. I think it really adds value to the city as a whole for telling its story and the diversity we have here. At Matt, looks are just as important as taste. If something enters through your eyes and then through your palate, then it's a perfect combination. The mad tomato hides a creamy Parmesan mousse set on pumpernickel crumbs. You had to convince me this was not a tomato. <laughs> Even though it looked like it. Ooh, oh, that's delicious. The chicharron marina is sculpted with squid ink chicharron, baby octopus, and beet wafers to mimic an edible coral reef. It's all delicious and so gorgeous. Luis's passion for food as art was born while working with Ferran Adria at El Bulli, once ranked the best restaurant in the world. You made a comment that working for that chef was unlike any other experience. You said it changes your life forever. How? The way you see, the way you, you think about food, uh, about creating, there is no offenses. I mean, anything can be possible. Edible newsprint? That's exactly what's wrapped around the steak tartare. This lemon isn't a lemon at all. The cuisine is fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. The delicate liquid olives are a stroke of genius. You put the olives in your mouth and they burst and it's just a sensational feeling. The flying eggs are actually a dessert. Passion fruit mousse, mascarpone cream, and white chocolate aerated rocks. You can't explain it because it's just so good. Nothing is as it seems. Exactly. So now are you feeling adventurous? Then don't miss the tasty duck tongue tacos. I'm not sure I've ever had duck tongue. You're gonna love it. I mean, it's, it's delicious. Oh, I love it. That's fantastic. I can't get over how it literally melts in your mouth. I love the flavorful serranito too. We wanna use the the crystal bread. The crystal, crystal bread? Crystal bread. Crystal because it's very delicate and fragile. Layered tomato puree, extra virgin olive oil, beautifully marbled secreto, manchego cheese, and cured Spanish ham. Little works of art. Finish it with a sauteed bell pepper and sweet caramelized onions. Oh, wow. Matt is gonna wow you all right one bite at a time. I think after an experience at MAD, your diners are going to say it was a life-changing experience to have Chef Louis Roger's <laughs> cuisine. I have no doubt. Cheers. I have no doubt, it's a pleasure. All kinds of holiday fun in my wine finds. And up first, Chardonnay fans, if you're looking for a special holiday wine, this is it. This is the Joseph Druin Puy Fuisse. It's named after the place it's grown in Burgundy. This French Chardonnay is beautifully balanced with flavors of peaches and apples with a bright acidity. It's going to pair perfectly with light meats like turkey and ham. It's priced at $32.98 a bottle. Up next, red lovers, take note. Chronology is a wonderful wine, and it's going to please a wide range of folks at your holiday table. I'm a big fan of this wine. It's a blend of Cabernet, Grenache, Mouvedre, and more. It's rich, silky smooth, and it's guaranteed to be a holiday hit. The price on the Chronology is $29.98 a bottle. All right, I saved the last for diehard Napa fans. This is the Oros. 
This is a Mandavi Cabernet, and it's sourced from some of the best vineyard sites in all of Napa. Classic flavors of black currants, figs, hints of tobacco, and rich vanilla notes. You'll want to open this wine about an hour before it's time to serve. It's a special wine for a special meal this time of year. The Oro's Cab is $49.98 a bottle. Cheers to the holidays, everyone. Happy holidays. As always, I found all my wines right here at HEB. Need a break from the holiday stress? Find out how you could win a relaxing weekend at the beautiful Houstonian Hotel. Sign up for our newsletter right now at goodtaste.tv for a chance to win dinner for two at Tribute Restaurant at the Houstonian Hotel. We'll throw in a two-night stay and two rejuvenating spa treatments at Trellis Spa. Want more fun restaurant ideas? Follow us on Facebook at Good Taste with Tangi, on Twitter at Tangi Patton, and Instagram at Good Taste TV. To get this week's recipes and sign up for our newsletter, head to our website, goodtaste.tv. Happy holidays, everyone. We'll see you next time. Cheers to good taste. So what's it like? I can talk right here. Stop. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. There's no dainty way to do that. It's the so, real deal. Yeah. Yes. And one, one will do ya. Yes. <laughs> one, is, one is definitely enough. So good. Two if you want to have a good time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>